They are the crystal gems and they always save the day. Steven Universe is one of those odd shows you just can't stop watching, but even this show comes with plenty of moments that weren't for kids. After all, if every pork chop were perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs. Stay tuned to find out which episode has the most inappropriate moments and censored scenes. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now let's check out 10 Steven Universe episodes that weren't for kids. Coach Steven. Coach Steven is the 20th episode of season one, and to be honest, it's just a weird one. We all know Amethyst is a very energetic character, but she's not exactly a good role model for Steven, yet alone the people who are watching the show. In Coach Steven, the team has to come up with a plan to destroy the Crystal Gem communication hub, which is releasing bursts of electromagnetic interference. Steven, of course, doesn't get it, and Garnet explains that the hub is hurting television, which is the only way she can get him to participate in helping out. It definitely shows Steven as a lazy character, and even though we all know kids love to sit and watch TV, no parent would want them to watch this episode. But that's not the only reason why this episode isn't for children. After Pearl says they need to be careful, Garnet replies that they just need to be huge. This seems to make Steven very excited, but when he tries to watch Garnet and Amethyst break out in their weird synchronized dance, Pearl covers his eyes, which means he's definitely watching something he shouldn't. And neither should the kids who are watching this show. Pearl definitely looked uncomfortable when she covered Steven's eyes while Amethyst and Garnet got busy and we have to say the scene made us just a little bit uncomfortable. Alone together, Steven Universe has often been criticized for being one of the weirdest shows ever, which is precisely why we think adults might appreciate this show more than kids. It's full of innuendos and scenes that would go way over any child's heads like Alone Together, the 37th episode of the first season. In the very first scenes of the episode, we see the Crystal Gems try to teach Steven how to use his fusion powers with dancing. Of course, Amethyst and Steven just mess around and get nothing done, so Pearl and Garnet have to step in to show him the right way. The two share quite an intimate moment when Garnet somewhat forcefully pushes Pearl against the wall, and it seems like even Steven gets completely fascinated for a brief second. But then Steven takes over by dancing with Pearl while Garnet watches. The weird moment comes when he pushes Pearl against the wall, just like Garnet did earlier. He's half Pearl's height, so you can imagine where his head and eyes land. Pearl and Garnet share a look, but Steven's eyes never let go of Pearl. It seems like a pretty awkward moment for a kid show. And of course, then there's the whole talk about fusing and how the crystal gems phase into each other. Steven even makes a weird hand gesture while explaining it to Connie. These were definitely moments that were meant for adults. Maximum Capacity Maximum Capacity is the 43rd episode of season 1, and just like previous episodes, it definitely has some moments that weren't really meant for kids. If you're an adult, we bet you'll be able to figure out some of these innuendos in a second. Maximum capacity is also kind of sad, especially at the beginning when Greg mentions he hasn't had the time to clear out any of the storage space since his mom gave birth to Steven and gave up her physical form. But of course, every time an episode shows Amethyst, you know weird and inappropriate things are going to happen. Greg clearly gets uncomfortable when he sees Amethyst, implying that they have a history between them. This gets confirmed when Amethyst says that it's cool because she has seen his junk before. Needless to say, Greg looks guilty as charged. When Steven spots a box full of books, he and Greg go through it to see if they'd be okay for Steven. But then the camera points to a book called Passions of Zanzor, and the cover of it looks definitely like it's not meant for kids. Greg takes it away, laughs, and says they'll have to save that one for when Steven is a little older. Unless a little older kids watch this show, this episode definitely wasn't supposed to be seen by children. Secret Team Secret Team is the 29th episode of the first season. First of all, let's start with Amethyst's room. We're pretty sure there are a couple of kids out there whose rooms pretty much look like this, but there's a moment in the very first scene that will be more appreciated by adults than it would be by kids. If you already saw this episode, you probably giggled at this scene. Steven is testing out his cannonballs when Amethyst tells him that he needs to put more ball in his cannon. Steven, of course, gets incredibly confused and nervously looks down. Then he asks Amethyst if it'll hurt. If you're an adult, you've probably caught what Amethyst meant by canon and why Steven looks so confused by her statement. Of course, everything is explained when she turns into a ball and shows him how it's done, but we have to admit that we did giggle at the totally unexpected scene that will probably and hopefully go over most kids' heads. Later on, Amethyst finds Pearl dancing with Rose Quartz's gem shards, and the two start fighting because they both know Garnet won't be happy when she hears about this. Once Steven gets the bubble in his 
hands, it of course breaks. It's an important lesson never to take things that aren't yours and to never ever question the word cannon in a cannonball. Say Uncle. Say Uncle is the 29th episode of season 2. It was an April Fool's Day crossover between Steven Universe and a Cartoon Network series called Uncle Grandpa. The story revolves around Steven's long lost relative coming to Beach City to help Steven unlock the power of his mother's gem. We love every Cartoon World's crossover, but when you pair up an odd show with an even odder show, it's clear that the episode wasn't really meant for children. Uncle Grandpa isn't exactly a popular show, but we have to admit that it gave us plenty of laughs and giggles. But it looks like the writers of Say Uncle didn't really think through just how to bring in Uncle Grandpa. Steven introduces him to the rest of his team, and of course, everyone questions his relations to Greg. Pearl then says that him being an Uncle Grandpa would make him Greg's brother and father, to which Garnet replies that it explains a lot of things. You wouldn't think much of this joke as a child, but we bet a couple of adults probably laughed out loud, especially after knowing how strange Greg behaves sometimes. He's also an Uncle Grandpa of everyone in the world, and when he comes around, everyone is going to have a fun time. We'd like to skip on that fun time. Thank you very much. Joking Victim The 21st episode of Season 1 is quite controversial when it comes to slightly inappropriate things that aren't meant for kids. This particular scene was even censored in many countries, as it's overly dramatic. Joking Victim is all about Steven helping out Sadie work the shift at the Big Donut. Lars really wants to get out of his shift, and it's pretty obvious he's really not in pain. But Steven thought to jump in to help as he eats their donuts a lot. In this episode, Steven has his first lesson in work nepotism. When it's clear that he's doing a much better job than Lars ever would, and even Sadie agrees. But after talking to Sadie about firing him and being his replacement, Sadie admits that even though Lars isn't the perfect employee, she likes him. And then she starts explaining how she was banned from the only store selling a new video game he wanted, so she waited seven hours in line to get it. Then she says that he cleaned his room, got her a box of oyster crackers, and let her be his player too. She adds that they spent a whole night together, to which Steven replies that it must have been a long video game. Sadie suddenly looks up from her daydreaming and awkwardly replies that it was, knowing she could be totally caught if Steven was an adult. Did you catch her inappropriate story? Tiger Millionaire Tiger Millionaire is a lot of fun for those who love boxing, but we have a feeling many parents would agree that this episode is a bit too violent for kids. It all starts out with Steven being covered in weird junk, which gets harder and harder over time. During this time, Amethyst gets criticized for, well, being Amethyst, which makes her storm out. She later comes back at night, dressed in a coat, and headed to a wrestling match. Steven watches in surprise as she's announced as the most hated wrestler. After he confronts her about it, she admits that she's a secret wrestler, and Steven, of course, begs her to join in. He also mocks his fellow team members after he tries to convince Amethyst that he also has a lot of anger inside of him. But as you watch the episode, you might find that several of the scenes were far too violent for kids. Steven can't handle some of the comments about him being the cruelest creature, but then returns to the match. We also don't think that any parent would want their child to sneak off to a wrestling match. And then there's Amethyst's unresolved anger issues that fully come out, especially when she starts fighting Garnet. We definitely think this episode has way too much violence. Poor Garnet. So many birthdays. In so many birthdays, we get another look at Amethyst's mess of a room. While she's definitely a cool chick, we bet no parent would want their child to have a room like hers. She even ate a burrito from a place that closed five years ago. We'll skip Steven's birthday song and go straight into his questioning if birthdays are just for little kids. What an existential question. No child should ask themselves. Steven starts sulking, and then he begins hitting puberty. His voice starts changing, he gets pimples, and grows in size. He goes to the arcade where he spends some time playing the whacking game, and he walks back. He says it was fun, but a boy on the cusp of manhood can't spend the whole day whackering. Kids probably won't think much of this sentence, but we bet you giggled when you first heard the word whackering. Steven's right. We really can't spend the whole day whackering, and it's nothing any child should ever know about. Steven grows by the second and decides to find a job. He picks a shirt that says professional beach hunk. But if you look in the background of the scene, you'll notice an unintentional shout out to iPhone's autocorrect, special duck off. 
off. Overall, we don't think any child should go to an existential crisis because of a single Steven Universe episode. Onion Trade. Onion Trade is all about Steven not finding one of the toys Greg got him last summer. This starts off a toy trade, but before we get into that, there's an episode that will make every parent slightly uncomfortable. Everyone notes that Steven is sulky because he lost the toy, and while Amethyst and Pearl don't think much of it, his father asks what happened. To break out the bad news, Steven tells Greg that he lost something precious. Greg gets scared and asks if Steven lost his innocence. We bet every adult knows exactly what Steven's dad is talking about, and quite frankly, it might be a joke that's gone a little bit too far. Steven doesn't think much of it and continues to tell how he lost one of his guy's toys he likes so much just because his dad gave it to him. It seems that Steven is completely heartbroken because his dad doesn't even remember the special ranger guy. That is until Greg hands him a bag of quarters to go get another one, which turns into him following around Onion. Well, we're quite glad all Steven lost was his toys and not his innocence. It's safe to say that joke went a little bit too far, although it definitely wasn't censored like our last Steven Universe moment. Onion Friend. If there is a Steven Universe episode that has way too many inappropriate jokes and censored scenes, it's definitely Onion Friend. It's the 13th episode of season 2, and it's definitely one of those we can't watch more than once. It's all about Steven and Amethyst visiting Onion's house after Onion steals Steven's bag of maximum barbecue chaps. After Steven comes into Onion's garage, he notices that it's basically a shrine to Amethyst and calls him over. The two get caught, but Amethyst recognizes Onion's mother, and it's implied that the two spend a lot of time with Greg and then start hanging out by themselves, which implies something kids probably won't register. After Vidalia asks Steven if they still look the same as their old pictures, Amethyst says that she's wearing old people's slippers, but Vidalia fires back that she has no idea what she's done in those shoes, which is yet another innuendo. Amethyst also asked if Vidalia still hears from old Farty Marty, and for some reason the UK version of the show censored that name. After hanging out at their bizarre house, Onion shows Steven a videotape titled Happy Birthday Onion. It turns out to be Onion's actual birth video, which is absolutely creepy and yet another reason to label this episode as too inappropriate for children. And that's it for our video. For more videos like this one, check out 10 rumors about Descendants 3 you need to hear. See you next time.